Hey guys, welcome to my playthrough of Nocturnal Visit. You can find this on Itch.io. I believe it's like a 10-15 minute horror game, if that. Uh, and the synopsis is, it's a single player short PSX horror game made with Unity. This first person game takes place in an abandoned house and with PS1 graphics. It creates a unique horror experience. Yeah, that's about it. About all I know. Um, so let's just play. Have I played this before? When the crosshair turns red, you can interact by pressing E. I have to clean my room. Alright, that's it, I guess. I should check my laptop before I go. Oh, right, it's if it turns red. I didn't see the red, though. Um, anything else? Let's see. Uh-huh. I gotta be opening these loud, squeaky things running around this house. The spookiest haunted house. This is no normal house. Its backstory even helps to add to the spookiness. Built in the 60s, this house was a ho was home for several serial killers. Several serial killers? Nowadays, all that's left is the remains of the lives that were taken in this place. But why is it still a mystery? Numerous reports of disappearances have been made after some people had visited the house. We do not recommend to explore this house by any means. It's not safe and you might not return from it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, close. Alright, I mean, I guess that's what we're doing, right? We're gonna go to the house. It's, like, it's a spooky game. Gotta go to the haunted house. Oh, and I'm just here. Okay. Yeah, let's make... Let's leave. <laughs> Good ending. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. You always gotta check to see if you can leave. I love that that's the good ending though too, it's not like some other thing where it's like you got the coward ending or whatever. Jesus, dude. Like, I don't want to click on that and, and go into the house, so I want to, let's check, um, this way. Jeez, dude. Why would you go here? Oh, okay. Just open. Doesn't seem edible. Okay. Sounds like something's here. That's a trash can lid. Cans in the fridge. Garbage in the, uh, in the freezer. S some Lay's potato chips. Did I do that? Some leftovers. Does that mean you just took a bite of it? door leads to the garage. So I guess we're gonna... See, at this point I would leave. 
You know, like if I heard that, I'd just be out of the house. So we have three doors. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Perfect. Just me and the dude. So one of these, oh my god, if I open one, it's like a jump scare. I'm be just like pissed. Like, I know it's coming, but. Oh, of course. Let's go into the creepy attic so we can get into the other room, right? Teddy. Don't do this to me, please. Key. So I'm looked. Garage key obtained. Okay. But why? That's what I want to know. Why are you trying to get into that room? You want to encounter? Whatever it is. Here, probably for that middle room, right? Uh, oh, of course. What? Door got locked. Amazing. The plumbing still works, I guess. Okay, that's back that way. So, I mean, I guess we're going to the basement. Like... Right? Classic rocking horse, please. Yeah, of course. Another flashlight. The blood. Update, the house just seems abandoned overall. Nothing has happened. Day two, 1.51 a.m. About 10 minutes in and I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed. I really don't like this, the environment in this place. I've heard several weird noises and I feel like I'm being watched. Same. Uh, update three, getting in this place was a complete mistake. Something is definitely sne stalking me, but I can't see it. The door is locked and then I'm not getting out of here. Or, yeah. The phone from upstairs. Where's the phone? Oh, it's up upstairs. Shut that. All right, it's right there. I'm gonna turn around, he's gonna be behind me. Did the door, did the back door just open? 
probably. It's so quiet. I know it's going to be something. God, I am like so jumpy all the time now. I didn't used to be so jumpy. Okay, so that was it. <laughs> I, that was short and fun. I um, like that. It got me a few times in that short amount of time. Like I said, I don't know why I'm, I'm so, so, so jumpy all the time now. Even some parts of God of War get me. Just fighting and stuff and things sneaking up on you. Yeah, that's fun. I like the aesthetic. Don't know why you go in there. Oh yeah, and I like I like the fact that you can just end the game, like, immediately. I mean, you still have games like that. I wish more games included them, but anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll leave a, a link in the description for this game so you can play it yourself if you'd like, if you haven't already. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.